What's up everybody, I'm Joe from XR Bootcamp and today is an exciting day because we have our brand new Quest 2. And we're gonna do a little unboxing video for everybody here, so let's do this thing. All right, so first thing you're gonna notice with this new Oculus Quest 2 box is this gorgeous packaging. Really nice, beautiful and white, big bold fonts here. You're going to see a 256 gig or 64 gig option inside the box, and we'll see this in another minute. Your VR headset, two touch controllers, two AA batteries, thanks, very appreciated. Power adapter, glasses, spacer, and charging cable. Please note that a Facebook account is required to boot up your new Oculus Quest 2. One thing I do appreciate on this box is Oculus giving these developers a nice little shout out. Star Wars Tales from the Galaxy's Edge, Horizon, Population 1, The Climb 2, Jurassic World Aftermath, and Beat Saber. These devs put a lot of love into their titles and seeing them get some showtime here on the main packaging is pretty awesome. Heads up for new users, a uh, blazing fast new processor here. This is the easy setup. Open the box, jump right in. No PC required, quite nice. Backwards compatible. Great, now doing some of this unboxing. Cool, all right, very cool. Little cardboard feeling, kind of really nice quality little box here. And as we open this up, there it is, the Quest 2. Step one, pull the tab out from your touch controls. There's your power button. And then adjust the straps. This is what, you, what it looks like right there. Really nice and clean. Looking now at the new Quest 2 touch controllers, they're not gonna to spend too much time on this. At XR Bootcamp, we focus more on the gestural input and uh, hand tracking side of interaction design for VR developers, but we do really want to recognize the fine craftsmanship here from the fo folks at Oculus and Facebook. First thing is, it's a little bit heavier, a little more heft to it, which is really nice. Feels a little more robust. I think it uh, weighed in at 30 grams heavier than the previous Quest touch control and this allows for more ergonomic design and just more robust overall. Next thing is this menu button. It used to kind of lay right here where your thumb would rest more naturally uh, causing a lot of kind of miss presses. Now it sits below the analog joystick to avoid that problem. A lot of players previously kind of would have this battery case slide open accidentally during play causing issues. That seems to now be fixed. Uh, and the last thing is this uh, kind of larger size faceplate behind the uh, where the buttons are to allow for a little more breathing room for your hands while playing around. Taking the Quest 2 out of the box now you start to get a better sense of the form factor, the nice lighter weight, kind of the overall feel of the Quest 2. Now if you're new to standalone headsets or to the VR world or if you're considering the XR Bootcamp Masterclass or some of your client projects or your developers, what we want to help point out to you is that this is what we call a standalone headset. No cables and no external sensors, which is really nice. These four outward facing cameras here are gonna give you all the world sense that you need. They're gonna help place you uh, directly in your world space. They're gonna help create a guardian system to keep your users safe. Uh, and overall, it's just, it's really easy to essentially plug and play, turn it on, use it, let your clients kind of uh, be able to dive right in without having to worry about a lot of the hangups around cables and sensors. And that's pretty great. All right, now we're ready to dive in. Great, once you're in your Oculus Quest headset here in this main menu section, the next thing we wanna do is enable uh, hand tracking, right? Because by default, it's not tracking your hands, it's only tracking your controllers. So we have to flip that switch and enable that. So go to this main menu bar here, into that gear icon on the right. And then under the device settings, you're gonna scroll down just a little bit into hands and controllers. Control how your hands and controllers work in VR, right? There with hand tracking, flip that switch on. Um, use your hands as controllers to navigate and interact in VR. To support this feature, we analyze your hands to estimate your hand size and how they move. Really straightforward, that's all you gotta do. And then you can just close out of that, and then anytime you put your controllers down, move your hands in front of your face, it'll automatically track your hands. It's really easy, really nice to use. Some games are optimized for it, some are not, but go ahead and play around with it. It's pretty great. What we're gonna do next is jump into Hand Physics Lab and mess around there a little bit. Let's do it. Quick heads up before you're able to jump into Hand Physics Lab, it's not in the actual Oculus Quest 2 store. 
What you're going to do instead is go to sidequestvr.com in order to sideload Hand Physics Lab onto your device. So uh, you're going to create your own account, you're going to download the SideQuest client onto your desktop in order to do that. If you're a newcomer to SideQuest, uh, the best guide that we're able to point to is from our friends at Upload VR. Um, it's this great how to sideload content on Oculus Quest using SideQuest, updated by Harry Baker. Thank you, Harry Baker, uh, specifically for new Quest 2 users. It really is pretty great. It's going to give you a good step-by-step. -step. Um, and once you go through all those steps, you're going to be able to bring Hand Physics Lab directly onto your new Quest device.